Hey guys, Will here, and welcome back to my next part of my Across the Program video series where I take you across multiple programs and show you cool things you can do with them. And now, with our fully textured uh, lightsaber right here, we can go ahead and make a really nice looking uh, render for our lightsaber. And it's very professional looking, looks great on portfolios, which is probably what I'm going to be doing uh, here pretty soon. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in my port right here and we are going to go to where it says iRay rendering up here in the top right. It should look like a camera. You're going to go ahead and press on that and click on that and it's going to bring up this really cool rendering tab now. You might expect a little bit of slowness. That's just because the iRay render works in real time, which means that it's constantly rendering whichever position you decided to set it up in. So when we open up our, our tabs over here, we have two specific tabs we're gonna be looking at. We have our display settings and our shader settings. Now we can mess around with our shaders if we want to, uh, but I much rather prefer to mess around with our uh, display settings because that's what we're gonna be working with more. So if we come up here to the top, you'll notice that we have a lot of environment stuff. And the first thing I wanna do is that a lightsaber doesn't exactly fit in a grassy environment. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and open this up and Substance Painter gives you a plethora of uh, backgrounds you can use. You can use a Autumn, a Cave Entrance, um, a Monterranean, uh, or Clouds, Panoramas. But the one I like the most to use is Studio 2 because it gives me like a really nice just white background, but it can also display a bit of a shadow underneath it just to give it that professional look. And if you want, you can actually come down here and just mess around with some of these. Uh, radius or, or scales for some of the glossiness or shadow intensity to get that what you want to look for but I, I really prefer this uh, because it really highlights some of the gold and some stronger and brighter uh, textures that we have for our lightsaber um, so yeah so I would definitely prefer studio but again be sure to feel whatever you want now I think this might be a bit too shiny for my part so I'm going to go ahead and take this environment exposure and bring it down maybe a tad bit. That might be a bit too much. Say about right there. That looks good. You can always rotate the environment as well to get a different light fixture. I might go ahead and do that. Give it a different different view on how the on how the lights are. So instead of those strips going straight across, it's a bit of a bit of a side. Maybe rotate that a little bit more. I actually kind of like how that looks right there. All right, now if you notice that all these grains are, are constantly popping up the more and more we mess around, that's because, like I said earlier, it is rendering in real time for us. And you can change, there's so many settings here you can look at. You can check, uh, you can change like the field of view if you want to get like a bigger field of view. And if, actually, if you notice, you could see the, the black pixels down here that were rendering a bit of a shadow. So I'm going to get a closer field of view because I like to I like to fill up my screen with my model so about right there 45 looks pretty good because it shows the big part of the model you can do a focus distance which changes uh, the focus distance um, but I'm gonna keep it about average right there now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our um, our little magnifying glass right here and that's the renderer settings and this is very important you want to your max samples are those pixels that you were seeing rendering. So if you notice that you look at our gold area right here, it's very, very rough. You can see a lot of like grain and we don't want that. We want it, We want this to look smooth. So what we're gonna do is let's just go ahead and set this to one and then we can change it to minutes. Apologies for that. That's just a friend messaging me. Um, so we're gonna set it to one minutes and now as you can see, it's actually rendering and it's starting to refine some of those um, some of those uh, grains that we were seeing earlier if you notice that this is looking much smoother and much more detailed and as we let this run it's currently rendering it's about halfway now uh, it's currently rendering this golden more and look, look, look how much better this is after just half a minute it's clearing it up and making it look more and more professional and once this when it is up, I'll show you what uh, the full product looks like. If you notice, it's very very clean now. There's almost no none of that grain. If you were to look closely, you could probably see some little bit more grain, but it's just the simple render time that you give it to get that 
really clean and now it's done and look at that look how look how professional that looks doesn't it look really professional and you could do you could do this with so many different things you can make a really more detailed model add more detailed textures to it but this is just the general gist of rendering in substance and these can create some really really good portfolio shots and actually I'm actually gonna go ahead we go ahead and save this render um, save this to my desktop as lightsaber render and that is now saved as a PNG on my desktop